Hi there, Halu here. And sometimes I just can't with computers. Shortcuts make life more simple, but it could also destroy everything in the process. I was importing my footage from today only to accidentally drag it into quick access. I hit Control Z to undo that, but instead it removed the transfer completely. My footage vanished into a dark digital black hole. You might ask, Halu, what about your phone? Isn't the footage still there? Well, since I like to keep everything nice and tidy and up to date on my phone, I delete the files immediately after I import it. It was then I realized there was no recovering from this. I tried using some stupid scammy data recovery software to bring it back, but as predicted, it was impossible. I spent a good hour trying different software to recover it, but after defeat and discouragement, I will still make a video for today's entry. So you guys are just gonna have to stare at my face while I tell you about my day. I think the old me probably would have given up and decided not to make an entry for today because of the frustration. But I uh, told myself that I'm going to be consistent with this and I want to stick to the things that I say I'm going to do. And a part of that is just hurtling over the obstacles and continuing even though crap occurs crap occurs crap occurs everywhere but you just gotta like do it anyways even if it's not the way you want it to be done crap occurs crap occurs crap occurs crap occurs crap occurs that's like my that's like my safe for work way of saying it happens um, but yeah, today was cool. I got up around 10 a.m. and uh, got ready to meet my childhood best friend out for breakfast. We went to Marston's in Marston's. Marston, Marston's. They had your typical breakfast food, which is like eggs benedict, uh, omelets, um, potatoes. It was cool, it was nice, but the main reason was to catch up with this childhood friend who I probably see once a year. We caught up on life, how we're doing, uh, how we're doing with our jobs, our relationships, um, what our schedule and habits are. I shared with him the things I've been doing consistently. He shared with me some of the details in his past year. And it's always good to just catch up with friends that you've been, that you've known for so many years and really see how far life divides you based on your choices, your actions, your interests, your hobbies. And um, it's just always so good for me uh, personally, but I think it's also just really amazing to be able to come back and meet each other at that crossroad and, um, you know, share what kind of journey you've been on. After that, we went and got some tea for dessert. And it's such an Asian thing to do to get milk tea or boba for dessert. I personally am not that much into sweets, but I did offer to get us some drinks um, in exchange for more of his time and prolong our outing together. I mean, I only get to see the guy for like five hours per year. Might as well make the most of it. So on our way back before our arrival, uh, we were talking about the topic of dating and he had asked me how I met my significant other, to which I replied through a dating app. He had shared with me that he hasn't been having so much luck through these dating apps and I'm so thankful to not be on those dating apps anymore because it is complete, but to be scrolling and swiping and checking for compatible people to talk to and trying to talk to people for a little bit and build a conversation and you know if someone seems that they're really cool to try to get them to be interested it's just so tiring i'm so glad i met my girlfriend where everything just comes very naturally so he had mentioned that maybe I should assist him with editing his dating profile. Now, I'm not an expert in dating or relationships. I don't know what girls look for in a guy or what makes someone interested in another. 
I only know how to present myself in a good way. <laughs> so I asked if he wanted to just come over and hang out while I took a look at his dating profile and see what we could change. So we spent a good hour, hour and a half going through his profile, trying to make things look a little bit more presentable. And I think the one key thing that he was missing was just a little bit of humor. Um, everyone knows that if you're not funny, you ain't got no honey. After I sent him off to sea to go look for honeys, I took some time to organize my finances. I use a software called YNAB, an acronym for You Need a Budget. It allows me to track my transactions and give each dollar a job. It uses the envelope method, which is like if you were to have all of your cash physically, you would put each of it into different envelopes that specified a certain category so you could divide your spending in different places. It gives me an ease of mind to save, invest, and spend my money guilt-free. If you're interested in tracking your money more wisely, I highly recommend using this software. It comes with a 34-day free trial, which is more than enough time to get you hooked on managing your finances. By the way, this video is not sponsored by them. I just really love managing my finances and recommend you do the same. For dinner, my mom made a huge pot of bunru. It's one of my favorite dishes that she can make alongside with fuge. And um, whenever she makes it, I can eat it every day for an entire week. Once I finished with that, my girlfriend and I finished the rest of Brothers the Sun on Netflix. It's like a Chinese themed action drama comedy, a charamedy, and it's, it has a really great plot. It's based in the San Gabriel Valley. There's like tons and tons of bloody violent fights, which I totally love. Um, it's a super fun series if you're looking for something to watch these days. But that's his it for January 14th, 2024. Uh, it's a shame that I lost all my footage and didn't have any clips to go along with this video. But I hope you guys didn't mind hearing about my day. And I will be back tomorrow for some more. Hollow at you later. Bye.